but Luol goes off with a fine goal. The last event on the day three finals programme is the women's 100 backstroke. The 60 second mark seems to be the challenge and the flag being waved in front of the swimmers. Can they go under it? With Schulte ready to do it. Natalie Coughlin there, the world record holder with 59.58, is out of the action. Well, this perhaps the widest, the widest open, if that's a phrase. Final in the 100 backstroke. Opportunities for most of the girls in this final to pick up a medal. Not sure most of them can win gold. That will probably come from the centre of the pool, but certainly the minor medals may well come from any of these eight. We hope that with two Britons in there, Britain win their second gold medal of the championships. Louise Onsted lane one for Denmark. She's the national record holder. A kind of uh, turbulent time back there, looking to break her record. She's already uh, qualified for the Olympics but she's looking to do a good swim here. Komarova of Russia, 17 years of age, the European champion on the event. Only 200s off her best in the semi-finals. Katie Sexton, ranked one in the world coming in. The British record holder with a 1-0-0-4-9 in lane three. Tough race, tough final, but that's what it's all about, preparation for the Olympics, but also medals here, hopefully. Anja Bischulte setting a new German record in the semis, a 19-year-old record to become the new lady of backstroke in Germany. Big cheer from the local national supporter, Nina Shivanovskaya. And go back to the 92 Olympics when she was in the final in seventh. The record holder set a new record of 10074. Lots of changes in the life of Shivanovskaya. Now can she turn it into gold for Spain? Well, it's the story, the fairy story, isn't it? In front of your national crowd, in a venue in the country, to get the gold medal in the World Championships. Irina Amshanikova, national record holder for Ukraine. A new record for her, 101.39 to come into lane six. Mai Nakamura, the Japanese record holder, now 24. Has a 1.0055 to her credit, but it's a while since she's been down there. She's going to have to find some of that former uh, talent and form. And Sarah Price, sixth in the final in 2001. 101.61 from the semis, and has a best of 1.0077. We think it's going to have to be certainly 1-0-0, very low to have a chance of a medal and maybe even under the minute. Well, I've never heard a reception quite like the one that this crowd gave for their local girl, Nina Zivanevskaya. And if she wins gold, this place will explode. meters available oh and very tight in lane number seven nakamura that was really close to the 50 meter mark james as bishulta and over there in one louise ornstead with a very very good first 50 101 2 the national record for denmark and she's giving it a real go from lane one keep your eyes on three katie sexton for great britain and eight sarah price louise ornstead from denmark this would be an upset but Schulter has got a lot to do as she wants to win, and Zivanevskaya well down the field from lane five. She is, she's out of it. She always comes back in the last uh, 50 metres, but she's left a little bit late. Ornstead for Denmark going very well. But Schulter coming through in three, Sexton now, pulling hard, trying to bring it up. Sexton, Price coming at Bischulte, but it looks like the tall jam is going to take it. 1 0 0 5 oh. What a swim, Sexton taking <laughs> a silver medal in 10086. What a nervy kind of swim, but I, no, it's not. It's on head with the touch at 10086. In fact, it's equal 10086 to Onstead in a new Danish record.
fabulous silver medal for their country. Sixth in 100086 for a bronze medal for Great Britain. And it's Bushulta, 10050. Well, that minute mark still stands there. Bushulta delighted with the result. But it's also been about some times here in Barcelona. Uh, what did we say about anyone could win it? And Louise Ornstedt from Denmark, from lane one. World silver medalist, Katie Sexton. World silver medalist. Battling against Basulta. Basulta, I think, always was going to be the favorite for this, but surpassing themselves, Louise Ornstedt and Katie Sexton. And that's the delight from Angela Basulta. Ornstedt's coach, of course, we know him well, Mark. Taylor went back to Houston. She lost uh, him at the Europeans. Her life's been a crazy mix-up. Then Mark Reagan of Australia was taken on as a national coach and is not worth in anything other than mental toughness. It's paid off with a silver medal for the Dane. But Pichulta takes the gold in the 100 back shot. Short break again from Barcelona.